Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can create a really simple camera shake motion in your level. If you already tried to do the same and you did a bit of research online on YouTube looking for tutorials or even Unreal Engine schematics and documentation itself, you probably are right now losing your mind because at least in my view, the whole process is so ridiculously complicated at some instances that you'll probably have a really hard time trying to make something just super basic. This video will try to do just that and show you how you can create a camera shake that is as simple as possible and implemented in your level. The first thing you need to do to create the camera shake is to actually make the camera shake blueprint. You'll do that by selecting and right clicking to get the blueprint class and then doing a search and this is a bit of an issue for camera shake. Now a few years back it was just camera shake. Now it's matinee camera shake. So just write matinee and you'll get matinee camera shake. That's your blueprint. You can select it and here it is. We're going to call it Easy Shake. You can open it up by double clicking. And here you have your basic and simplest graph. However, you don't need to do anything in the graph itself. You just need the details. Right here in the details, you can set all of the elements needed for the same camera motion. You have your oscillation, but the more important elements for a simple camera shake are these rotation oscillation, location oscillation and FOVO oscillation. We're going to edit all of these and we're just going to insert simple numbers into all of them. So uh, for duration, let's set it to five seconds, blend in time, Let's do it the same. For every other uh, element, pitch, yaw and roll, we're going to set the same thing as well. So we're just doing this so that we get that sense of change in the camera motion once we set all up or set everything up. We can also do these, but I don't think they're necessary actually to get just that kind of first sense of that basic camera shake. We're going to compile and we're going to save and our easy shake is basically ready to go. Now, how do you add it to the level? I'm going to do two options. One would be to add it to a simple or single location using a trigger box. And the other is going to be to add it to the level itself and to all of the player activity motions and everything once you get the play button going and you start playing the level. Let's do the box trigger first. So we're going to go and in place actors, we're going to check a box trigger. We're going to place it in front of the character. Let's enlarge it a bit. Ah, here it is. And we want the situation to look like this. Once the player character enters the trigger volume, the same camera shake will activate. We have the trigger volume, we have it selected. Let's go to blueprints and open level blueprint. So right now, first we're going to add on actor begin overlap node. Here it is. It's already connected to the trigger box and it's set. Now we need the get player controller node. And from it, we need to get the target of player camera manager. Get player camera manager. And from here, we need to get start matinee camera shake. And here it is. Now we need to check out in the class 
that easy shake which we already created and connect this node and the previous one too to the trigger box on actor begin overlap we need to compile we need to save and we need to try it out in the level so here we are we're moving normally let's enter the space and there you see it the camera is shaking and it's done we take out our player character from the space return it and the shake is back and it continues even when we exit the same space now that is the simplest and easiest way to add a camera shake in your level however let's do an even simpler one where we begin the camera shake as soon as we start the level in that case we're just going to exchange this for event tick here it is and we're going to connect it again to start matting a camera shake get player controller and player camera manager are all set in place the same as they were we're going to compile save and let's see how does that look we're in the level and there it is the camera shake is already going it's starting it's getting fuzzier fuzzier it's increasing and yeah it's a game that would get anyone motion sickness so it's not, not that good of a game however it is working so there you have it that's the simplest and easiest way to add a camera shake to your level to try it out of course you can then edit so much elements here as well as edit how these camera shake options and camera modifications actually behave in the level itself however this is the most basic simplest process get player controller through player camera manager to start matting a camera shake while the actual blueprint is as once again matinee camera shake it didn't have that name it was simply called camera shake in some older unreal engine versions now it's this however it still works perfectly as you saw it and it's really simple and easy if you create it in this kind of a setting in this set of functionalities let's call it like that however there are also many ways how you can create and connect the same camera shake to your player character and its camera like in so many things unreal engine is really versatile and allows for a different set of options that basically do something similar however this is the simplest one and this setup in the level blueprint is as easy as it gets when it comes to adding a camera shake to your level so that's all for this unreal engine beginner tutorial hopefully you found it useful if you did please leave a like Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions or anything else you want to tell me. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos on Unreal Engine beginner tutorial stuff. I'm a beginner, so I'm trying here. I nearly lost my mind trying to figure out a really simple camera shake because there are so many options and all of them are either unfunctional because of their old version setup of Unreal Engine or they're super complex. This is, in my view, a good balance of functionality and simplicity. Also, if you'd like to see how you can support my channel in the description box below, there are a bunch of ways how you can do it, including signing up to the Patreon that I run for my podcast and many other things. Any of those is really appreciated. Of course, the simplest and easiest way to support my channel is just to subscribe, so please do that as well. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Ivica and I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye!